Uh, good morning, YouTubers of all persons who want to know and observe how to use this sub to program and encode a BMW E60. This car has been bought from the auction and this car has not been starting. So we're going to try to program the car. And we're going to try to update the eye level. And we're going to try to activate the features for the voice input that sits right there below. And somehow the status of it was refused. So therefore, the activation code status for this car has to be um, rewritten to the models. And I'm going to try to program it over again and see what happens. I buy the FSC code for this, and the FSC code is on this drive here. Uh, let us go fishing. There is the FSC code for it. All of these are the FSC code for the car. It's on a thumb drive there. Let me try to rejuvenate the other side of the Reject that measure span because the RDC is presently disconnected from the car. Alan boy, you ready for most of the out there? One Remove this on the measure span. So, so you do measure span removal, you click on the, R, the, the, the control unit tree, the, the RDC, then you click immediate measures, then you click hide all options. Also, an expert mode allows you to do to remove measures for a particular module from the plan. Gonna program the KRC unit and the, the voice activation or voice input. Five minutes early a second, I'm gonna save a copy of this measures plan. So cash unit and um BO voice input. Just scroll down and look at what is included in this. Okay, it's going to treat the RDC as some replacement, but that's not going to be there. And look at the part number. The part number was 6785279. 6785279. Alright, let's just accept this measure for now. Go forward and code the cast.
right, I'm gonna now look for the activation code. Continue. It's gonna find it. There it goes. It find it on the thumb drive. Six, seven, eight, five, two, seven, and that's just gonna come up with that. It's gonna come up with some box. Click on the action list. The RDC is a tire pressure monitoring module is not there, so I guess a lot of code is gonna be set for the DSC control unit. Um, and probably transmission module also. Programming of the cast unit, so here I took out the key and you have to turn on terminal 15 and take the key out. And the cast is gonna put man, this one is write the programming file to it very quick. Man, this is very quick. Wait 10 seconds.
Good morning, ears and birds. I'm trying to get the B9 started. I'm told I'm going to cast you here. So beams of the eye come there flashing away like crazy, brand new in the plastic, just the same. 16 pin you know, OBD. Uh, we are now right now. We are 95%, 96% on the cast unit being programmed right now. This car bought from the auction is not starting, so I'm trying to programming over the car. And um, I'm trying to get this started for my friend. Good? It's going to ask me to turn on back terminal 15. Terminal 15 is up when you're going to program the cash unit. It's all there. So we're going to wait. So much of time. Just wait and wait and wait. It's going to come back up with a dialog box that says terminal 15 now must be switched on. So on and so forth. Oh, quick, I hope it will okay. We purchased a new cast unit for this thing, just in case if the cast will not fall. Alright, here it goes. So the key must go back in now. Time for push this in. And here's my key right here. We stuck this in right here and tuck the penis in the vagina. Hit the start stop button. There it goes. The flag go away now. It's gonna code it. And this my laptop is a ThinkPad T540P. This one is running an i540. 4300 Intel processor with uh, 16 GB of memory with a solid state hard drive, Samsung Evo 500 GB hard drive. But sometimes, you know, this i this is this i5 slow down the machine, it can't multitask like the i7s and so on. So, we need an i7 and this laptop and this board, this motherboard here, it can um, it's a G3 board, which to say that uh. A G3 processor type family can be fit on the board. You can take out the old processor that is on this board. You can put on a, a much more higher upgradable processor that have higher clock speeds and more, um, you know, more threads and so on. So therefore, and I recommend persons when they're going to get a laptop for say a BMW programming, get a laptop that poses an i7. Probably have, you know, two cores for a thread or four core, eight threads. 
and you know you can max your laptop out at say 16 gigabytes of memory because you're going to need a memory draw because it's that he uses his own volume of memory so you're going to need that and so on and so forth and then you're going to move on to the next stages okay it's finished programming the cast it's now coded it's finished coded and it's, it's important activation code for device activation it's now activating so gonna um it's gonna activate a the application it's gonna activate the application when it's finished you should put that green tick there the fse code for anyone who needed fse code for your car you can call me and give me your vin number and i will sell the fse code to you for a price you can give me the vin number and i will um you know i'll get the fse code to you in a couple of hours no problem The longest I was he took to activate the application. Wow, I wonder why it took him so long. This car does not seem to have any, um, well, maybe it has navigation on it, yes. Maybe it has navigation application. BMW professional radio. It has two slots one for CD, one for DVD. That means that this one has navigation. And the DVD, the DVD slot is um, allowed for. Um, the updating of the uh, navigation map but the activation of the application for voice input failed i do not know why this is has to be some form of problem with all this this is where the, the microphone would be up here the fcd the roof function center would probably have the microphone for voice input and as you can see the sos button right here the SOS button right here is where you press that button and you talk and make a call out to the BMW service. I'm sorry. And there goes the voice input here on this voice input. You just press this button and you talk. I'm sorry. But you have to, the application is not activated. There's something off with it here. I may have to do this one over again. The importation of the activation code of voice input is okay, but the activation of the application, it failed with an X. And that is why I think it takes so long too, because usually these things are written off quick and give you the green tick. You know? So, I'll see what the final report is. And I also look at the trouble codes as well, because I know this car has a ton of trouble codes. And there goes our most connector right there, blinking away slightly, doing this thing.
Okay, there it goes. Initiation of tire pressure monitoring fail. So turn off the ignition key. Let us do it, just turn off the ignition here. Take that out. Clear the power cord now. Okay, the record is stuff. Thank you. 
Okay, this is finished. So the measures were implemented successful now. We can add a change you now. Let us look at what is done here. We cast program and code it successfully. And they are um, the read for code memory. Well, the RDC is off. It's not, it's not plugged to the car, so it's off. The voice control, something is not connected here, something is disconnected. It's great, that's why something failed. And uh, that is failed. Importation of the FSC code is okay successfully, but the application activation is failed. And so on and so forth. So, uh, voice control refused. Update the integration level and so on. Like I said, you said the BO activation, the application activation for voice input. You said read file code memory for it. Okay. And um, I'm seeing now it's a file code memory, Voltronic eccentric shaft sensor, shuttle potentiometer, Voltronic eccentric shaft sensor, plausibility is up. Accelerator pedal module, pedal travel sensor, no voltage there. Shuttle valve, EME, immobilizer, and design protection. Pool and temperature sensor plausibility, the gradient. And that is why the car is not starting. That code that says DME, immobilizer, and tampering protection. That is what I'm going to try to start over. And now the parking gear incorrectly disengaged in the EGS. This right now is in neutral. Somebody rig this thing and put it in. You know what this is right here. All right, let me save a copy of this. It's a cast input selector level position implausible. Okay, carry right away. It's in neutral. Let's see. Okay, I got started. We're going in a park. So it's not so because it needs to go in a park. End session. Alright, we end the session now. I'm going to close the video.